What's up, you guys? This your boy Gabe on 26 is coming back at you with another video, man. I got to show you guys, man, what I did to my truck, man. I'll make this short and sweet. Let me pop this. Pop this hood, man. Show you guys what we what we working with. Show you guys what we working with, man. Let me explain my madness. All right, man. Your boy homemade homemade a colder intake i just can't i i can't spend seven hundred dollars man seven hundred to a thousand dollars man for a colder intake for this car for this truck i i just can't do it you know it's an older truck you know it, it look amazing you know what i'm saying it's nice but right now right now at this time i just can't spend uh, um, um, a grand, seven hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying for a colder engine. But all it's doing is just uh, directing airflow. You know what I'm saying. I, I just can't do that. But uh, I got all my parts off of eBay. I got my silicone couplers off of eBay. I went to my local parts store. Shout out to uh, shout out to South Haven Su Supply. You know what I'm saying. Not too far from Memphis. Uh, shout out, shout out to them. They they got pretty much everything and a lot, lots of wisdom and knowledge. Um, I got my mass airflow um, housing. I got that off of eBay. You know what I'm saying? I spent like 15 for that. Um, this housing here, um, I had from another intake I had that I was gonna put on the truck, and I changed my mind on it. Um, I got this this um, uh, reusable. Uh, air filter um that came with this um i said 15 dollars um my bad um i spent 30 dollars for for this and that for both of those and uh the tubing that you see here i got this from ebay and i spent 15 dollars for that it's a, a flex tube and i got my little coupler right here so in all man what you looking at right now I was out of about damn. I'll probably say probably what you're looking at right here about eighty dollars, seventy five dollars versus paying seven hundred or a thousand for a cold or intake for um um a 07 F one fifty. You know some people, you know what I'm saying, they they gonna chop me up. Oh man, that looks ugly and all that like it is, but it's performing, it's doing its job. You know, so I can't really get mad at that. And I got some tubing at the house, some stainless or tubing that's gonna match this. That that will match this, that, that is matching this. And I made and I got some other couplers, uh, I got a 90, a 90 coupler coming to make that shape. And I may uh do that. To make it look, you know what I'm saying, a little better. Now that I see, you know, how long it is, and I'm just gonna measure what I have here and just uh make my cuts on my tube, on my stainless tube, make my cuts, and then just uh put my couplers on and um uh, just button everything up and that'll be fine. So I might just leave this in place, just take this out, just take take this out, you know, and just modify my tube or whatnot. And that'll make it look somewhat okay. But, but hey, I got, you know what I'm saying, a cold air intake now for $75. You know what I'm saying? You can't beat that. You can't beat that. You can't. You know what I mean? But, yeah, man, just wanted to show you guys uh, that. And, uh, matter of fact, let me take you guys down the road. Yeah, hang tight. Hang tight. If I can find my keys. I'm trying to find my keys. I got my keys. Okay. Oh! <sighs> they say when you when you get old, you make noises. I guess. 
faster starts, starts up quicker. Starts up quicker. Let's go for, go for a ride, man. Woo! I'm talking about, man, you can feel like the horsepower gain and the torque gain inside this truck, man. You can feel it. Um, my gas mileage, uh, my gas mileage increased. I know it increased. I still got the 488 in the rear. Still got that in the rear. Um, I'm going to tell you guys something, man. Uh, most of you guys, man, all you guys need is uh, is um, a colder intake and a gear swap. No matter what you got. If it's a uh, if it's a uh, Chevy, if it's a Ford, a Dodge truck, um, Toyota, no matter what type of truck you have, you know, Tesla, no matter what you got, if you can put a cold air intake on it and you can re-gear it, um, you will see, you know what I'm saying, performance gains. And you will love it, you know what I'm saying? You just got to pick, you know what I'm saying, the right gear to go with. You got to pick the right intake to go with. You know what I'm saying? I just want to bring you guys inside the truck, man. Like it's still quiet in the cab. You, you can feel the power game. You can feel it. I like it. Try to make this, try to catch these. It's responsive too. It's way more responsive than that that stock that stock intake I had on her. It's way more responsive to my foot, along with that gear. Still contemplating, man, if I want to do uh, the 456 or the 410 in this truck. Still contemplating on it. Still contemplating. Like this gear that's in here, man, it, it's it's amazing, man. As far as like towing and you got, man, thirty sevens and 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 higher as far as tires. They they amazing with that. But I think I can achieve the same the same power, the same horsepower. I mean, not whole horsepower, the same torque. The same everything if I was to fall to a 410 or a 456. One of my guys telling me to go 456. He said I won't regret it. And I don't think I, I will. But I'm just like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know. I hate when folks, man, park so goddamn close to the goddamn uh, on the outside of the street, and you got to fight to get between them. Some small ass streets. But yeah, man, I'm trying to make my mind up if that's that's what I want to do, 410 or or um, 456. I just ain't made my mind up yet. But I'm gonna have to make my mind up soon because when he finished my because when he finished my car he will be getting the truck you know so even if I do even if I choose the 410 it ain't gonna hurt nothing you know because I had a 410 in my last truck and uh, I said I wanted to go 456 but it still like perform it still perform well and the gas you know what I'm saying wouldn't 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 affect it at all either you know, um, I want to say, yeah, it's the postman. Yeah, that's all he put in the mailbox. But yeah, um, I think, man, I may just go ahead and stay with it. Just stay with the 14 idea. I may. I'm going to sleep on it. And, um, you know, I'm going to hit you guys with a video. 
show you guys, you know what I'm saying? Let you guys know what uh, what gear I went with. But yeah, man, uh, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Much love to you and your families, man. And uh, I got that, that $50 cash out uh, giveaway coming, $50 giveaway. Uh, that's coming. When I get to uh, 3,000 YouTube subscribers, I will be sending that money out. I will be sending that money out to, to one lucky YouTube subscriber. So subscribe to the channel now. We got to get to 3,000, man, quickly. You hear me? <laughs> all right. So I'll catch you guys on the next one, all right? I'm going to go in this house, man, and fix me some uh, fix me something hot to eat. All right. Peace.